Hi everybody, today we are going to talk about percent of change. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want you guys to notice is remember how they used to uh, dance with the jukebox and everything like that and back in the 50s and such. So now you look at our picture, how much it has changed from where we were to where we are now. And as you can see, the two people standing there with the music earbuds in and messing with their phone, there's their music. So anyway, let's keep going. So just how much have things changed? You will be investigating the percent of change from the 1950s until now. So everybody knows what they are seeing right here in front of them. They are seeing the Whataburger and the original Whataburger picture is in the back and the new Whataburger picture is in the front. Now let's take a look at the price of a Whataburger. The price of a Whataburger was 35 cents and the milkshake 15 cents and um, a special Whataburger um, with the double cheese was 45 cents. So let's keep going, let's take a look. So what is the percent of change in the price of a Whataburger? So um, notice how we've got 35 cents for the original price of the Whataburger and then $3.50. Now I did round these numbers to make them nice and pretty for everybody to see, but you can tell just by looking at that, that price has changed, has changed quite a bit over the years. So um, there's your change from 35 cents to $3.50. Let's take a look at another one. What is the percent of change in the price of Whataburger's milkshake? So 15 cents to $3. Um, that's definitely a percent of increase there. So let's take some notes. So I need everybody to get out a sheet of paper and pencil, and we're going to take some notes about percent of change, and you're going to want to write this stuff down. So I went ahead and pulled a bunch of definitions and examples and how to find percent of change. So it describes how much a quantity increases compared to the original amount. Well, if a quantity is increasing, that is a percent of increase. Okay. And an increase is an example of a markup. All right. Um, example sales discounts that would be a decrease because the price is going down because it is on sale describes how much a quantity decreases compared to the original amount well that is a percent of decrease okay all right so let's keep going in order to find the percent of increase or decrease you need to compare the amount of change to the original amount Okay, so when I say the amount of change, I mean the difference between the two amounts. So in this case, I noticed that that was not highlighted. So in this case, if we were looking back at Whataburger, you would subtract $3 and the 15 cents, and that difference would be the amount of change. And then the original amount would be 15 cents. Okay, so let's keep going. So today I'm not really asking you to do any kind of calculations or anything like that, but I do want you to make sure that you know the differences between the two. So let's take a look at the next one. So the next slide I'm asking you, is this a percent of increase or decrease? So take a look. We've got a loaf of bread in 1977 was 25 cents. And today it's $2.49. Now, has that increased? or has it decreased? Let's take a look at the dozen, one dozen eggs, 59 cents in 1977, today $1.99. Well, that is a percent of increase. Both of them are a percent of increase. All right, now let's take a look at another example. The Xbox One, originally priced at $499, its new price is $279 because it's been out for a while, so its price has decreased. Hence the reason why this is called a percent of decrease. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we have talked about percent of increase and percent of 
decrease. I do want to kind of head in just a few seconds and talk to you guys about a few things. The first thing I want to talk to you about is how to find the amount of decrease or the amount of change. Okay, this is calculated by subtracting the original and the new prices. Okay, so an example of that would be our Xbox One, 499 minus 279. Okay, and when we subtract that, we get a difference of $220. Okay, so that's how you find the amount of change. Then the next part is what is the original price? Oh, wait, we already said what the original price is. It's right here. Our original price is given to you. And typically the original price is whatever it's starting with. Okay, or the original amount is whatever you start with. It's typically based on time. So this was a few years ago and the original price was $499. And this is the price as of today, the new price. All right, ladies and gentlemen, take what you've learned here and use it to help you do your assignment today. And remember, you can pause and start this video as many times as you need to in order to get the answers right. Okay, have a great day. Bye.